right? The, the group page that I created is just for me to pass out information to you, all right, concerning the signals, right, concerning the signals. Although I used to say, and I'm still saying, I'm not a signal provider, right? The essence of this signal service I'm creating is because some of you have really been asking that I actually thought of it that it's going to be a good one, right? Because um, normally uh, those people in my special class have actually been sending the setups to them. Though most of them did not really need a setup, why? Because they've been taught on how they can actually follow the trades and actually take trade like I do now. So I'm starting it because it's going to be an extra income for me. That's number one, based on the fact that if I mark up setup, all right, just like I used to do, I will just send that setup to, to the special class and also to my own private uh, uh, group that I, is only myself that I'm in that group. I will send those straight there just for my tracking and also for, for, for journal whatever trades I'm taking. So that's why I decided to, to start this particular service, right? Any trade I'm going to take, I will just forward it there, either loss or profit. And just like what I used to, I used to say, Trading is with a risk, all right? And there is nobody that will say that he's trading with, with, no, um, with no loss at all. I, take, I took some losses and uh, you should have to know that what you see on the public channel, they are just the winning trades. Sometimes I share the losses also, just for you to know that we took, uh, I used to take loss sometimes, but mostly I, I mostly post the setup at Playhouse. And that is why I am giving you um, a minimum of, or a target of 50 RR in a week, in a month, right? In a month. And that is roughly about 10% of your account growth in a month if you are risking 0 0.25. I'm still going to discuss everything. So you're going to ask your question so we know what you're going to expect if this is actually meant for you or you are no longer interested. That's why I'm making this video. This video is going to be sent to as many people as possible too. All right, so number one, I'm going to be starting with how many trees are you expecting in a week? How many trees are you expecting in a week? All right, you are expecting a minimum of five trees in a week. A minimum, that's actually the least, five trees in a week and as many as possible that I'm actually going to see in the course of the market. Just like this week, I've actually... Uh, I've seen more than more than six trades. Well, let me say uh, more than more than seven trades. Uh, about three really worked out, and four actually was a loss. I'm still scanning through the market because it's uh, we're yet to get a new session for me to get trades today. Tuesday are always very very funny, right? And most of the time, I always have the best trade on Thursday and Fridays. So. Maybe if I'm actually going to send quality trades, if Thursday and Friday might actually be the time um, that you can expect such. Though Monday and Tuesday may actually have to skip. No, but I not really skip it. I will still send up set up in that time. So just expect that a minimum of five trades will be sent in a week. That is what you should expect. Then as many as possible in 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 a week at the end of at the end of the week. That's what we are expecting. Then. Um, which section am I going to be trading? That's the question number two. Which section am I going to be trading? I will be very active during London section. That is from 8 a.m. GMT plus one. Although we might actually start from before that 8 a.m. GMT plus one, but most of the time, because I have to, I have to pray, I have to uh, do my daily exercise and do some other things before I start marking charts, right? So that is why I said 8 a.m. GMT plus one, right? You should be expecting your setup around that particular time. ATM GMT plus one, then maybe T will and that's about around uh, around uh, 2 a.m. Eastern time, right? Then in New York, for New York section, we're going to start by 7 a.m. Um, is it 7 a.m.? Uh, yes, 7 a.m. Eastern time, which is 1 p.m. GMT plus one. That's Nigerian time, 1 p.m. Nigerian time or 8 a.m. Nigerian time. Those are the times that I will be very active to send up setup. So it might not be exact, exactly that time because from 8 a.m. GMT plus one till maybe 11 a.m. GMT plus one, you can still be expecting setup from me. I'll be sending setup as soon as I actually see them. Then from 1 p.m. GMT plus one 
to around 5 or 6 p.m. GMT plus 1. You should also be expecting. Those are the times I'll be sending setups. So in Eastern time, uh, that's 2 a.m. Eastern time till about 5 a.m. Eastern time or uh, uh, 7 a.m. Eastern time till about, uh, that should be about uh, 12 known Easter time. Those are the times that I will be sending set up. So you should take note of that. So that's number number two. I'm going to answer your questions. If we have questions, just send the question to the chat box. I'm going to reply everything. So the question, uh, the question three will be, what is your risk per trade? The risk per trade, right, that I will be expecting you guys to focus on, right, will be 0 0.25 per trade least is 0 0.25 maximum of is 0 0.5 now the reason why i'm actually giving you this lowest risk is because of we might actually have some losing trades in a strike maybe in a role where you just have been, you will just be having losing trades so your risk management will actually be your guide especially those of you that will be trading funded accounts i mean maybe you have to, you want to use it to pass your challenge or whatsoever thing I would not really want you to go beyond this particular risk, right? I would not want you to go beyond this particular risk, 0.25 or 0.5%. But if you are trading your own personal account, if you are trading, please take note of what I'm saying. At the end of the day, if you come to me that because of this trade, you actually lose your challenge or you lose your account. I'm not to be blamed for that because I've already told you. If you are trading your account, then you can trade 1% of your account. But for funded accounts, I'm advising that you should go for 0 0.25 or 0 0.5. Which one is actually better for you? Go for it. I can tell you, I have a student, right? I personally am trading 0 0.25 and maybe sometimes 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.25. That's really what I'm risking. But I have students that trade 0 0.25 and he uses the past FTMO challenged in one week. In fact, I've seen students, many of my students, mostly in the special class, they are risking 0 0.25. And trust me, some of them, they are trading 5% in a week. In fact, 10% in a week. In fact, there was a day that a student closed his account for 8% in a day, risking 0 0.25, depending on the trades that he's actually taking. Though he's trading so many pairs, and I would not actually encourage that. So that is going to be on my advice, 0 0.25. Or 0 0.5. But if you are trading your account, do not exceed 0. Point, I mean, one percent of your account, right? Then, how many trades, how many pairs are we going to be trading? Now, as you can actually see, those are the pairs I trade most of the time, just like what you can see on my screen. So, Euro GPY, Euro uh, Euro USD, GBP USD, USD CHF Gold, AUD USD, USD JPY. USD card and GBP JPY. These are the trades that we'll, we are going to be focusing on, or these are the pairs we'll be focusing on. So how do you calculate your risk? Now, we have different platforms. You can use my Forex, um, my, my FX book, right, calculator, or you can use Baby Pips calculator to calculate your risk. So you are going to do it in terms of your stop loss. Now, let me see how we can actually do that. Um, maybe show you that in here, all right, how you can calculate your risk if that is actually sent to you. Um, so ask your question, I will reply as soon as I'm done with this, all right? For example, if you have something like this, let's say you can see this is uh, my Facebook, it's already pinned on my on my on my browser already I already pinned it so I don't really need to be opening it I mean to be browsing for it I just have to click on it you can see this one is for news I just have to click for news and for me to see that then this myfxbook.com myfxbook.com so maybe I'm going to enter my account size two hundred thousand dollars right then I will enter the risk I want to trade 0 0.25 0 0.25 then uh, maybe my stop loss, let's say CSPIP stop loss, then I'll click on calculate. Then at clicking on calculate, it's going to bring out the account size. I mean, the loss size I am to use, the loss size I'm to use. Did you see this? The loss size I'm to use, as you can see this. Now, for example, let's say in a setup whereby I, uh, that setup might have two positions. 
maybe I'm not really sure of his zone, then I also now put add another zones to it. In case of that, now, assuming you are risking 0 0.25, now, you know, your lot size is going to be, let's say, about 8.5 or 8, 8 lots that are going to use. Now, in that instance, if that position is two, I mean, if I actually send two positions out to you, please divide the lot size into two. So it's going to be four lot size and four lot size. Use one as um as the first entry, then the other four lot size will be the second setup or the second entry on that particular same pair. Please take note of that. That is, if I'm sending two setups or I mean two positions in a particular trade or in for a particular pair, please, and you are risking 0 0.25. Don't risk 0 0.25 on one, risk 0 0.25 on the other. No, don't do that. Just divide it into two, right? And, and trade it in that manner because we might actually have a loss on one, right? And we might win the other. But in case we're going to lose the two, so you are still going to risk 0 0.25 on that account. Please, with this signal service, I want you to apply the maximum use of trading management and risk management. Because most of the time, if people, are, I mean, most of you that actually join signal service, the reason why you blow your account, why your signal providers are actually still making money is because you are actually bad in risk management. Right, you are very, very, very bad in risk management. That is why. So that's why this particular service, if one thing I can achieve is actually to for you to regain um, that risk management uh, discipline, then this is it for you. Please don't risk more than what you can show. No, don't say because I've already sent a setup and this actually looks very nice and you just want to jump to it with risking 10% of your account. My brother, please, you are going to lose so much money. I don't want you, you can, you can imagine just on $200,000 account, I'm just risking $500, which actually makes so much sense, right? It makes so much, it makes so much sense because I'm not risking too much money for me to, for me to make another money. Please take note of that. Risk management is really very, very important. So in a, in a trade whereby one particular position was sent, then you can actually just open that eight floor size immediately. I mean, with that, set your pending order because all our trades is going to be pending order. I'm going to send it, is it a buy limit or sell limit? No buy stop or sell stop or market execution. But sometimes I can actually see the market is already on our zone. If I send that and you're in the market, please trade immediately. Just open market execution. At the same time, I want to tell you, do not chase trades. When you are not there, when those trades were sent, right, and you just want to chase trade, just receive that caution that I told you not to chase trade because we're still going to have another opportunity. When the trade is not at your zone or you did not set pending order, please just don't trade. Don't chase trade. Don't run after a trade. When a trade has left your zone and you were not, we are not filled in or you were not triggered, right? You should not trace it. Wait for another opportunity. Please, I'm begging you. That's why most of the trades I'm going to be sending to you, they will be the one that is yet to really get to your zone so that you can really put your pending order there. But some of the time, just like today, I traded USD card. And in the USD card, those people I send the trades to, the traders actually left the zone, right? So in that instance, I'm going to share my screen, maybe later on, I mean, you should just share the, the, the stuff. That trade has actually left right it's already reversing back anyway but just for me to share whatever things i want to share with you now this was when i got to the market price was still around around this particular area when i got to the market but by the time i sent this particular trade it was on maybe five minutes or ten minutes time frame price has actually left the zone maybe price is already here now and i told them to wait for the retracement of that before they can pick it because if you are just rushing into a trade that trade might actually give you a very wide stop loss and you are not following your risk management again. Please, this is what I really want you to focus on today. Please, I'm begging you, abide with this instruction I'm giving to you so that you can actually last in this market and this so that this service can actually be of a benefit to you. So I've actually explained, I'm explaining this in terms of your funding, I mean, those of you trading funding accounts and your personal account. Just imagine that you are trading a $200,000 account and we are making 10% of it in a month. 10% of $200,000 is about $20,000. So that is actually, I think that is enough for you to actually make as a trader. 
right, so by risking 0 0.25. And I will also ensure that I'm sending quality trades to you, right? Just like what I said, our, our, our win rate might not be so strong because our win rate is such about 50%, sometimes even 40. So the risk reward ratio is actually what we bank on for us to make so much money in the market. Please take note of that. And this will now leave us to want, I mean, to, um, to target in a trade, just for example, this trade that I showed, how many targets are we looking out for? Let me go to five minutes time frame. How many, or uh, 10 minutes time frame, how many targets are we looking out for? The setup I sent here was one to 10, but the setup I will be sending, it will be one to five risk word ratio, right? One to five. So if I send this particular setup up, I'm going to expect you to actually focus on one to five. The aim is for you to make money. So one to five. So at one to three, you can close partials and one to three here. Close partials as one, just like this particular piece is, well, is five pips or 5.2 pips. I want you to close partials at one to three, right? I want you to close partials at one to three, or you can just decide to just be trading one to five alone, one to five, one to five. Or server trades I sent, just close your trade at one to five. The aim is for you to make money. Just for now, this trade would have actually triggered you in. I mean, your take profit would have been hit before this trade will start reversing. Please focus on one to five for now until you actually gain confidence in you, uh, maybe leaving it to one to 10 whatsoever. In fact, the trades I will be sending, it will be based on one to five risk reward ratio alone. I will just put my two here and place it. Then how am I going to be sending this particular entry in? Am I just going to be sending in terms of chart like this or things like that? No, I will be sending this particular information to you. As you can see, we have entry points. You should copy the number. You have stop level. You should copy the number and take profit level. You should copy the number. This is actually what I'm going to be sending to you. I'll be sending the entry point, the stop loss point, and the take profit point. And I will also advise that if you are using a broker that has a very large spread, uh, we want you to add additional one pip to hit, additional one pip, so that you can um, um, uh, you you might actually prevent yourself from being stopped out, or you should calculate the spread that that your broker is offering. Then you should add it in there. As for me, I'm suggesting Tickmail, right? Tickmail broker, right? For you to actually join. Now you can actually join through my link. Right, so that you can actually get a discount. For those of you using IC Market, the reason why I'm not using IC Market is because of their commission. Their commission is really so high. Their commission is about seven seven dollar for both positions. But um, Tick Mill is charging just four dollars. And if you use my link, you are going to get another discount of five percent on each commission. So that is actually how it works. That's for Tick Mill. I know they are not supporting some other countries like Canada. I Yes, in Iran and Pakistan, I'm not really sure, all right, of that Pakistan, but you can actually try them out to see by using my link to really register. So that's for our target. We are targeting one to five in each positions. We are targeting five. We don't forget our, mass, our, our, our target for the month is going to be 50 RR. So we are targeting one to five in, in a given position. Then at one to three, you can close partials. Right at one to three, you can close partials. So this is really what we want to see in that particular stock. And just like what I said, our, maximum, our target in a month is going to be 50 RR. That shows at accumulative of this five RR, we want to target 50 RR in a month. And if you calculate 50 RR, multiply by 0 0.25, that is about 12.5, where I'm considering spread and also commission. That's why I said a minimum of 10% in a month. That's our target. That's when you are risking 0 0.5. And if you're, I mean 0 0.25. If you are risking 0 0.5, that should be about 20 or 25%. And if you are risking 1%, that should be about 50%. So that's why I want you to actually apply uh, the, uh, the maximum risk, what, I mean, risk management and also trading psychology, please. And one thing I'm going to tell you is that when trade is moving in a profit, don't close it. Always respect your take profit and your stop loss. Always respect your take profit and your stop loss, right? The only thing you can do is to, is to close partials at one to three, then let the remaining to run till whenever you want, but I want you to close at one to five. That is my advice to you, right? So this is really what I want to say to you. And just like what I said, 
we're going to have referrals, I uh, mean, affiliates, and those of you that's going to refer to us, so we're going to earn 5% of whatsoever the person is actually paying in as our fee. You're going to have 5% of that. But the minimum uh, withdrawal you're going to make from us, based on your affiliate bonus that you're going to get, is going to be $100. So just imagine you making $100 from that. That's actually another way for you to make money from us. We're going to earn 5%. Then at the end of the day, if your money is now, uh, I mean, accumulated money is now on regular, then you can call for your withdrawal for us to know. All right. So that is that on the referrals. Then also at the end of each week, maybe on Friday, on Saturday, or whatever time I'm actually available, we are going to be having a reviews of our trade. So by this, you are also gaining much more knowledge. So this is actually going to be additional stuff that you guys are going to get from that. I might not really explain the strategy because you're not, you're not paying for the strategy. But there's another, another option for the strategy. We really want to learn that. So it's going to be another program I've actually designed for that. So that's for the webinar. Then um, for those of you, because some of the time you might not really be available because I'm really thinking that how will you really catch some of the trades I will be posting, right? Because some of the time, some of you might actually be at work. Maybe when the trade was posted, you are not even on your, on your computer for you to open the trades. So that's why I'm thinking of uh, trade management. I mean, for, for your accounts to be linked with a master account. And if you really want to practice this, if you really want to join this, I've not really started that and I've not really set it up, just like we are done yet to start with this um, signal too. So uh, we are going to do a tick mail pan, whereby uh, if you want to register, you have to register with my link, that's number one, number two, a minimum of, uh, I guess it's $1,000 or $5,000, I'm not sure because they have a minimum that all those accounts have to be accumulated into. So you have a minimum of maybe $1,000 or $5,000, then the account will be linked with it's my own account. So as I'm trading account, um, as I'm taking the trades on my personal account, it will be reflecting on your account. And that is actually going to cost you additional money, not the signal money any longer with that. So I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Is it profit sharing that I'm going to do or uh, or just um, just go for fee. Definitely, it's not going to be one hundred and fifty dollars because at that you are not going to miss any trades, right? That I'm going to call, and at that any trades I take, that's what you're going to take. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to separate another account for that. It's basically for that. What is going to be because the minimum I can have in that account also will be five thousand dollars. I have to create another separate account for that, right? So that as I'm taking trades on it, it will be reflecting on. On, on your account. The start is actually going to be for tick mail. And I guess the minimum is going to be 5,000. I'm not really sure, I have to confirm that. So I'm saying this because some of you might not really be able to take the trades I'm going to take. Just imagine me sending charts and you are actually busy at work or you are busy doing another thing. The trades are already left so that, you, so that you will not start chasing the trades or, or things you not just make some irrational decisions. That's why I'm also thinking of that plan, right? So it's going to be treated for tick mail and those people that register with my link. And at the same time, it's going to be me opening trades and copying it on your trades. And that's actually it's going to be. So as we're taking trades, it will be reflecting in your account. But if I can also have software that can actually do that, but basically I want the same broker for you so that the spread, the every other information, the filling price would not actually be different from each other. That's why I want the same broker. That's why I want the same broker to be used. So that is on that for the PAM, right? And uh, I'm not yet, I've not yet decided if we should just use profit sharing or just additional fee away from the signal fee, right? Is if it's going to be profit sharing and profit sharing definitely will be 50-50. Any money that we make is going to be 50-50, or we should just use um um the the signal, I mean the fee, maybe a normal fee. Right, so I give you a last question on that, and we're going to know what that would be. Right, and if you want to link your account with our account, it's not going to be a funding account. I'm not going to trade any funding accounts because I personally I can also trade a funded account. Right, so I'm not going to trade any funding account for anybody. So if you have a funding account that is, that is not your own account, I'm not going to trade it in that particular instance. And that's why I actually actually said tick mail for all those people that are going to do that. I'm going to give you much more information on that. As many of you that you know you have a minimum of $5,000 and you think they want to participate in this, 
a minimum of five thousand dollars, and you know you want to participate in this, just let me know. So that we, a number of people we actually going to determine if I'm going to start that, and at the same time, uh, the fee I'm going to recharge. Maybe how that's going to be All right. So lastly, I want to discuss the special offer for you, which is actually going to be how is uh, I mean how the money will be paid. Right, it's going to be either Naira, PayPal, or card payment, or, or cryptocurrency. That's number one. And number two, um, the fee is $150 per month, right? But if you are going to pay for three months, right, you are going to have a discount of $50, right? That shows instead of $450, you'll be paying $400. That's if you want to pay for three months. If you want to pay for six months, instead of $900, that's $150 times nine, I mean, times six, which is $900. You'll be paying seven hundred and fifty dollars. That shows you are you are having a discount of one hundred and fifty dollars. That's about one month. So you pay for five months and you get one month free. That is for six months offer, all right? That's for six months. Then for one year, which is twelve months, right? Right. That's supposed to be about one thousand eight hundred dollars, but a discount of four hundred dollars on it. That is close to three months. That shows you are paying for nine months and a half or so. Then you are getting three months or two months and have so that uh, discount. So I'm giving you a discount of $400 on that. But if you want to pay for lifetime, lifetime is going to be $2,500, right? $2,500. So as many years as possible, but a minimum of three years, I guess, as we're going to remain in business and things like this. So you are going to keep on getting the offer. So this is really what I have for you. So special offer, three months for $400, six months for $750, then um uh what again 12 months for one thousand four hundred dollars then lifetime for two five and that is what we have to do so this is what i have so let me quickly go through the chat box and see the information that is there so that i can answer them then i can open the microphone so that as many people that want to uh ask questions can also do that um so average stop loss is usually below five pips right the average stop loss I'm going to be sending is going to be six pips. That's going to be average stop loss. And I'm actually looking at six pips. But in case it's going to be more than that, then you have to adjust. But most of the time, my stop loss is between two pips, three pips, four pips, five pips, six pips. Most of the time, two pips. In fact, 1.5 pips. But because of your spread, I will want you to actually cap it at six pips. All right. So that is that. So that's number one question. We uh, will be calculating limit order and stop loss by ourselves. We will be providing since that mostly. Uh, uh, I don't really understand from MMK. I don't understand what you mean. The limit order. When I'm sending a signal, right, I'm going to tell you number of stop loss, right, that that signal actually has. I'll be telling you the number of stop loss, right, that the number actually has. So you can use that to calculate your 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 lot size. Then put your pending order. Right, put your pending order. I'm going to tell you the exact price, stop loss, and at the same time, your TP. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the question, which time frame will be used? 15 minutes. You should not really be interested in the time frame I'm going to use. Right, you should not really be interested in the time frame I'm going to use. But mostly, I'm an intraday trader. So I trade four hours and 15 minutes or 10 minutes, and I trade five minutes, 15 minutes or so. So whatever time frame I see set up, and my setup is actually clear. I am going to send it to you. Can I use VT broker? Right, for the signal, you can use it. And that's why I said add additional spread because I don't know the spread they are using. But for the PAM, if I am actually going to trade, copy the trade, whereby you are going to link your account with my account, then tick me strictly. You are going to abide it. Tick me strictly. What profile are you using? I'm not with any profile. I'm not with any profile actually. I'm not trading any profile account. Right. And um, because of these signals, uh, or maybe because of my student, and for me to actually have knowledge of what the problem actually have to do, I already, I already plan to start to take it up because I have accounts I'm actually trading. Right. And really, I don't really want to be started. I'm a kind of person that I don't like working under pressure. And at the same time, I don't really like to multitask because my attention might really be divided. I love to be focused. And that's why I've not really started this. And that's why. I am still saying maybe March we're going to start because I have so many things I'm doing. We don't know. Um, I'm into real estate. In fact, I'm trying to, to build a, a particular structure for, for my restaurant and at the same time, a bakery. The bakery is supposed to start this month. So those are the things that are actually catching my attention. I'm into real estate, into foods, 
and also, also uh, um, um, some other business like cryptocurrency and things like online business, things like that, or fully into real estate. And also, uh, I want to start my bakery, right? Just a commercial bakery, then at the same time, a restaurant. So those things are actually catching my attentions. And at the same time, I might not really be really focused. I have to go out, invest, I mean, in, in, uh, supervise what they are doing and things like that. So I, that's why I'm not really any profan. And I don't really have any other account apart from the companies that come and trading, right? And my own personal accounts, right? So if I want to really start that signal, I have to let go of that company's account, mm -hmm. right? And that's why I'm promising March. So if my contract is going to end with March, all right, but maybe March ending or so, so I can actually start that in March beginning. I know that I will not really have any any any, any distraction. That's why I'm proposing either March or April for us to start. But anyway, we should still look up to March. So I know with any problem, just like what I said, I might have to take it up when I'm done with this contract and just see how they are doing and just show you what is going on there in the team. So we, uh, we can start before March. No, we're not starting before March. Is it that March or so? So sorry, sorry, not clear, please. What are you not clear with, Mimi? What are you not clear with? Let me know what you are not clear with. Um, uh, Mimi, the problem is with your, oh, sorry, not clear. Oh, is it what I'm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, tick mail, did they allow mobile money payments? I'm not sure. Maybe you should check. Maybe we should check them out. Can get the link and just check them out. Do we have specific dates to start? Right, we are looking at March, or if not March, then April. But let's see March because from maybe this weekend or next week, I might actually send uh, a link to you that you are going to use to pay. So let's see how that would be. Though we are not even up to fifty, just as promised. But anyway, if forty people can actually join, then I mean, I'm okay with that. All right. Where is your link? The link, I'm going to send it. You can ask me personally. The link will be sent to you. When are you going to start copy trade? Right, that copy trade, just like what I said, as many many of you that would like that copy trade and you want to be with Tickmail, you have a minimum of $5,000. Please just message me, right? Just contact me, right? So uh, on, on the same contact for the signal so that I can know what and what to actually prepare before that. All right. So, yeah. How can we adjust it according to our spread? Right. I don't I don't really know what you want to ask. Right. Just add one peep or the number of your spread to the stop loss. We are doing that. For example, if your your the spread, I mean the entry I gave you here is 5.2, and you find out that the spread of this USD card is um uh maybe is one peep, then you add it to it. If it is two, uh, if it is one peep. Then you had 1.5 to it. If it is two pips, then you have three pips. So depending on your spread, just add it. You know, sometimes I used to fraction in spread. That's why you know the exact zone is supposed to be this zone. As you can see, look at where my stop loss, I mean my stop loss is. I used to really fraction it. Uh, I mean to prepare for it when I'm actually marking charts, just like this. Maybe I have to really add that to you so that you can actually be guided. Right. Um third, uh, how about the offer to win? Right, just like what I said, in each month, right, any student, right, I will just pick people at random, right? If you start this, I mean, in month of March, in April, I'm going to, I'm going to pick a student at random, then register you on uh, on my Forex fund or FTMO, as the case may be. You just register you for your 10,000, or is it, what, what did I even promise? Is it 10,000 or 20,000? I'm going to check that to see, to see what was promised. 20,000. 20,000, okay, okay, right. That's, that's still a small money, right? So actually we have to do that. So we have to have this, can we have, can we have the recording? So I'm going to send the recordings anyway. That was great, I'm going to have forms for your program. Thank you a lot. All right, so all good now, 20K, all right. So do you have any other question apart from the one I've actually answered here? So I'm going to send, I'm going to delete everything I've sent on that page and send the rules there. The rules of the signal, I'm going to send it there. You're going to see that immediately now. So if you have any question, just let me know. If you have any question, let me know. And give you the opportunity. So everything I have discussed here, I've already put, it's already in a written form. 
right? So you can get it done. And just like what I said, we have PayPal, Naira, and um, cryptocurrency as a uh, as our existing payment method. Right, I'm still waiting. Right, I don't really want us to stay long there because it's still we are still we are about to enter the new year session and it's supposed to be scanning for opportunities for me to trade. So that is it. Some interesting right now. All right. So I guess I have right. Okay, just like what I said, I said we may start in March. March. But if I'm unable because of my engagement, then April. But I oh, I believe March will be okay. All right, March. By March, but before then, now this is how, how we're going to be receiving the payments. If you want to register for March, right, you have to pay in February. If you want to register for April, we have to pay in March. So that's actually going to be. So when you start, before a month actually comes to an end, maybe on the 26th or so, you have to ensure that you actually pay for the following month so that as the month is, is, uh, is then coming to an end, I'm going to create a fresh page for a, for a, for a fresh month. Apart from those people that actually paid maybe for a long time, maybe one year, lifetime, three months, four months. Apart from those people, I was actually going to add them automatically. But for, for those of you that you are just paying for one month, one month, so we have to pay before that time. And if you are paying one year, then you should know how when your time is going to lapse, right? And if you are paying three months, you are going to know when your time is going to come to an end. So things like I have to offer, renew it before that time, right? So that is it. So. Um, if there is no question, so I would like to close now. You can say ask me question um, as day goes by, so we know what we're going to do. All right, guys, thank you for joining in. I will talk to you later, All right? And just like what I said, we'll be having this webinar maybe once in a week or so, then I have the time. All right, just to go through our trace, you are going to learn from it also, All right? And just for you to really develop much more, All right? All right, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.